There's so many different moving parts. So it's not just as, yes, you should leave. No, you should stay. You, you have to evaluate your situation. You have to evaluate the situation that you're in for you. Assalamualaikum, peace. It's Fatima, coach Fatima, one third of Outstanding Personal Relationships, and co author of Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. All right, y'all, in this video, um, I'm going to be responding to a question that uh, I personally received, and it was um, the email. You know, we don't share who sends us emails or DMs or what their names are, but we do talk about the questions at hand because it can help other people. Now, this question was, um, my husband's is polygyny, should I stay with him? And this is a tough question because that is a decision that you have to make for yourself. No one can make that decision for you. Uh, there's so many different reasons why people might get divorced or ponder it or follow through with it. And polygyny could be one of those things you don't know. Now, there's no cookie cutter way to be in your poly relationship. There's so many different family dynamics, so many different families, so many age groups, so many um different schedules, so many different husbands, so many different wives. I mean, it's all relative to the family that you're in. You might not have a family as large as the one that we have. You might have one that's just starting out. So that has to be considered, but there's so many different things to think about. It's just not, I'll just leave or I'll just this, I'll just that. It's You'll find that it's not as easy as that. But I tend to like to think about the work that's gonna be done or the long-term goal. Do you see yourself doing this? Do you see yourself doing that and then deciding because you don't wanna make a long-term decision for a temporary feeling. It's something that's difficult to come back from. I've seen people get divorced because of polygyny. And let's say the wife leaves, I'll just put it that way. Let's say the wife leaves, she divorces. She'll look at that brother be more and become and transform into somebody that she's not uh, readily uh, recognized, uh, has the ability to recognize her that's not readily recognizable, I should say. And she'll want to be back with him. And then he doesn't want that anymore. You know, so there's that dynamic. There's a dynamic of the wife leaving or being um, someone other than the husband knows anymore and then she becomes somebody else with somebody new or let's say she doesn't get married again maybe that's her option maybe that's something that she wants to not entertain anymore maybe she doesn't want to be married anymore and then they become um unrecognizable to one another and they don't want the marriage anymore so there's different reasons why um you know marriages work and marriages fail you know, ultimately, and sometimes you have to make the ultimate decision and you you have to go there. You have to not be married anymore to that particular person for whatever reason. But that's a decision that you have to make. We're all adults. We're all grown. We pray that we make the right decisions for our families and for ourselves, of course. You know, you got to take care of yourself right but if you're both willing to do the work, you're taking care of the marriage. You're taking care of your, your own individual needs. You're taking care of the needs of the marriage. There's so many different moving parts. So it's not just as, yes, you should leave. No, you should stay. You, you have to evaluate your situation. You have to evaluate the situation that you're in for you. I wouldn't, for example, I wouldn't make my decision on staying with Coach Nair or divorcing based off of the marriage he has with Coach Nyla. That's their marriage. I'm talking about my marriage with him. 
because we always talk about minding our marriage, you know, do things kind of bleed into other things? Do marriages and information uh, tend to bleed off into another marriage? Yes, it does happen because people are oversharing or sometimes they have to speak to one another about specific things that are affecting their marriage. I get that. We know that we train on these things. We coach and counsel on these things. I am Coach Nadir. And I'm Coach Fatima, his wife. And I am Coach Nyla. I am also his wife. We are the founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as the authors of the book, Let's, Let's Talk, Talk Polygamy, Polygamy Uncensored. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, how can you get your hands on a copy of it right now? The great part is, we're about to share that with you. But first, let me tell you about why you need to at least get your hands on one or maybe more copies, depending on where you are in your polygynous journey. Some of the things that we discuss in our book is, are issues about trust, insecurities, jealousy among wives, and maybe even, possibly even, creating lasting friendships. Especially friendships amongst co-wives. And we share in this book how you can understand that it takes a village, that polygyny is not some taboo topic or something that's gonna leave women stranded alone and kids not loving each other or feel like they're left alone by their fathers or from their fathers or whatever the case may be. You will learn so much in this book. Let's talk polygamy uncensored. Indeed, we lay down the practical steps that we wish we would have when we started our polygyny journey over 13 years ago. Well, the time is here and all you have to do Go to letstalkpolygamy.com. Order a copy, order the bundle, do whatever it is you need to do so there's no more excuses and we make it marriage great again by reminding people of polygamy, which is an ancient solution to, to a modern, modern day, day problem. problem. <laughs> letstalkpolygamy.com. Get your pre-sale order on. With that being said, make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every, every single day. day. <laughs> Mr. Link, Salaamu Alaikum. Peace. Peace. But it's controlling what you can and leaving the rest. It's not our job to dictate to someone else what goes on in that marriage. We're talking about best practices for, for best results, yes. And how to have healthy, effective communication, yes. But we can't make anybody do that. We can't fix someone else's situation. They have to be involved in their own marriage. They have to get in the marriage and participate within the marriage. We can't go, well, can you talk to my husband? Can you talk to my wife? Can you fix her? Can you fix him? Can you change them? You can guide, you can offer, you can give advice, you can coach, you can do those things, but people got to decide that that's what they want to do. They want to participate in the marriage. And if they don't want to, that's when things start to go left or fail or not um, become successful. You know, maybe they don't need to be. We know that's the option too. There's marriage, there's divorce. You know, so that's something that you have to ask yourself and evaluate based off of the facts of the situation, you know? It's not a good time to throw out, I'm gonna divorce you in the middle of screaming at someone else. That's not a good look. That can be very difficult to navigate for the person that is being yelled at or the yeller. I mean, once you calm down and you can think a little bit clearer, even though the, the decision you have to make might still be difficult and you still might be hurting, you're able to think with a more clear head once you remove a lot of that, mm, that emotion that's driving you. You know, it doesn't mean we can't cry, we gotta become robotic, no. It just means that we're more intentional about what we say, what we do, what our intentions are. We're seeing the big picture and looking past the end of our nose to see what's going on in the lives of others and their perspective, especially our spouses. Because a man's life in polygyny is not a woman's life in polygyny. It's different. We're different. You know, I don't wish to be Coach Nadir, be exactly the same and do the same things that he did. Oh, I have no use for that. I'm a woman. I love being that way. I love it. That's my superpower. 
and him being a man is his. So I embrace that, embracing the differences. I don't have to be a husband to feel fulfilled. I assert my power as a woman, as a mom, of course, as a wife. I so many things because I'm more than that. So I take all those, uh, all that information and I apply it where it needs to be applied. And I evaluate each area of my life, who I am. And I, I'm very careful about what I say about myself to myself and what I say about myself to coach, um, about coach not there to myself in my marriage, in my children. I mean, it just keeps going in such a beautiful way, you know? So <sighs> evaluate your situation. Ask yourself some honest questions. Have a hard conversation. Talk to one another. Communicate. And, and, and listen. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> you know, you don't have two mouths and two ears or one ear and two mouths, you know. So just listen to the perspective of someone else and you could get clarity on their journey and then offer yours too. So, you know, if you guys aren't following us on our social media, please do uh, on IG, we're Outstanding Relationships, and on YouTube and Facebook, we're Outstanding Personal Relationships. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, I'm the initial wife for clarity. Uh, a lot of people ask me that question. They ask my co-wife that question, who's who, which one is which? And uh, that's okay. We understand people will get us kind of mixed up sometimes. And that's all right. <laughs> we get it. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little GLC. I hope you got some gems, of course, from this video. I have fun connecting with you all and um, just being on this platform and talking some of these things out, you know? We're all trying to find our way. Just continue your personal development and your growth. As promised, leaving you with some GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally, loving, fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.